RoboCat, introduced by DeepMind in June 2023, is a robotic agent that learns to perform a variety of tasks across different arms and self-generates new training data to improve its techniques. RoboCat is a key player in moving us towards a future where robots aren't only programmed for specific tasks, but can adapt and learn to perform various of tasks across multiple platforms. In that sense, this would, in my opinion, be stage 4 of AI transformation, which introduces reasoning machines and potentially stage five if it chooses what to learn. But more about that later in the video and if you're wondering what the heck am I talking about when I talk about stages, somewhere here I'm gonna leave the link to my other video. RoboCat is based on Google's multi-model model Gato. Gato can process language, images and actions in both simulated and physical environments. RoboCat learns from a large data set of sequences of images and actions, all of which involve various robot arms solving hundreds of tasks. RoboCat then goes to through a five-step self-improvement cycle with each new task. It collects demonstrations, fine-tunes its approach, practices the task repeatedly, incorporates the new data into its existing data set, and then it trains a new version of itself using the updated data set. Basically, RoboCat can generalize new tasks and robots in two ways, zero shot and through adaptation, where zero shot is when the model hasn't seen the task previously at all. Thanks to its diverse training, RoboCat can learn to operate different robotic arms within a few hours. It's capable of adapting to new complex arms with more controllable inputs and performing tasks that require precision and understanding. For instance, it can remove the correct fruit from a bowl and solve a shape matching puzzle. After observing 1000 human controlled demonstrations, RoboCat is able to successfully perform complex tasks up to 86% of the time. The initial version of RoboCat was successful just 36% of the time on previously unseen tasks after learning from only 500 demonstrations per task. But the latest RoboCat, which had trained on a greater diversity of tasks, more more than double the success rate on the same tasks. This exponential growth and improvement shows RoboCat's ability to learn autonomously and self-improve rapidly. So is RoboCat an opportunity or a threat? To answer this question, we need to focus on three things. First, the more new tasks it learns, the better it becomes at learning in general. It can generate its own training data for subsequent iterations, which means it can create its own unique self-improvement loop. And third, what we know about intelligence and learning is that you cannot become a master at one thing without also becoming really good at, let's say, three more things and have a good understanding of another five things. Because intelligence doesn't exist in vacuum. Let me explain. If I give you the task, to become a master at playing the piano and you have the ability to learn new things in general. You have the ability to learn on your own and improve your own skills on the task. How possible is that at the end you only know how to play the piano versus you would also know how to read music? write music, differentiate between different genres in music, maybe even sing. The RoboCat model has been released in June 2023 and currently can perform 253 tasks and has a set of 141 variations of these tasks, both in simulation and in the real world. Again, by definition of what intelligence is and how learning works, I think, in my humble opinion, that this model would be able to choose what to learn as it capabilities progress, even if it looks innocent at first because, let's say, it chooses a better, more efficient way to learn the same tasks that you have given to it. And to me, if you have an AI model that can choose what to learn, it can learn tasks it has never seen before and it can improve on its own without any human input, overall, this is more of a trade than opportunity. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.